Today, the North Atlantic Council decided to activate our defense plans at the request of our top military commander, General Todd Walters. This is a prudent and defensive step to protect and shield allied nations during this crisis. And it will enable us to deploy capabilities and forces, including the NATO response force, to where they are needed. No, there are no NATO combat troops, no troops, uh, NATO troops at all inside Ukraine. Uh, we, we have made it clear that we don't have any plans and any intention of deploying NATO troops to Ukraine. Uh, what we have uh, made uh, clear is that we have already increased and we are increasing the presence of NATO troops in the eastern part of the alliance on NATO territory. This is a deliberate, cold-blooded and long-planned invasion. Russia is using force to try to rewrite history and deny Ukraine its free and independent path. NATO allies condemn Russia's invasion of Ukraine in the strongest possible terms. It is a blatant violation of international law, an act of aggression against a sovereign, independent and peaceful country.